All right, so I was joking with you a second ago. It's a dry dugout this year, no beer. What will life be like with some of those guys, like like Beer and Williams? Well, I mean, anytime you lose a player of a, a Seth Beer or a Chris Williams caliber, uh, you know you've got a lot of offense that you have to try to replace. Uh, but that happens every year. I mean, every year uh, that I've been coaching, uh, you look and, and see, you know, we – we just lost this guy. We lost this guy. We lost four guys out of our lineup. We lost our whole weekend rotation. I mean, every year uh, brings different challenges when you're dealing with the draft or you're dealing with graduation. And, um, you know, for us, we don't really focus, you know, too much on what we lost. It's really not something that I've ever focused on because I think every year is a different year and a different team. So it's really more about embracing the guys that we have here and trying to figure out, you know, who's going to play where, Who's going to assume the roles that we have uh, available? Uh, where's the competition going to be? And we go from there. Um, you know, the fall is all about player development and guys trying to compete to win jobs. So we kind of focus there. What's, what's already happened has happened. So uh, we don't focus too much on that. Uh, we'd love to have a player uh, like a Seth Beer uh, and a Chris Williams in our lineup. And hopefully some of the guys that we brought in uh, we'll be able to compete for jobs. Um, you know, it's hard to expect anybody replacing those two bats. I mean, those guys had hundreds upon hundreds of significant uh, at-bats and played significant games for us and, and were high-level performers. So uh, we're not trying to replace those guys. We're trying to figure out with the group of players we have this year, uh, you know, who's going to be our guys and how are we going to develop them and put them in a position to be successful. So. Uh, we certainly are going to miss them, but we got to move forward uh, with what we got. And uh, I'm excited about the opportunity of that starting uh, Saturday uh, in team practice. Coach, last year uh, on that subject, you, you lost all three of your weekend starters. Uh, this year, you, you got Hennessy and, and Crawford back. How big is that, especially uh, to get Crawford back? Well, we've got two guys back that threw, you know, over 150 innings uh, between the two of them. So uh, that's always a good place to start. You know, anytime you can get one, uh, and in this case, two weekend guys back, along with a Spencer Strider. You know, Strider pitched an awful lot for us last year as a true freshman, made some significant starts, uh, pitched meaningful innings out of the pen. Uh, you know, we've got a, a good nucleus of starting pitching back. And now uh, we've got a, a, a really talented group of freshmen, first-year guys in here that we feel really good about. It's just a matter of getting those guys in live game situations this fall and seeing what they can do. You had several guys that turned down a lot of money to mm -hmm. come to Clemson. How important was that? Well, it's really important. I mean, we're very grateful to have uh, the guys um, show up at school. Uh, turned down the opportunities to sign professional contracts. We had a few guys drafted, uh, and we had some guys that, that walked away from some significant money. So uh, this is a talented group. This freshman group that we brought in is very, very talented. Uh, it's, it's probably a little more arm heavy, pitching heavy, um, than it is position player heavy. Uh, but we really like what we're seeing out of a number of our first-year pitchers uh, and position players, we feel like we're a little more athletic, just watching the guys move around on defense and run around uh, positionally. And, and I think that this is a pitching staff, this group of uh, newcomers um, has more projection. They're bigger body guys that I think are gonna throw harder. Uh, so uh, we really like what we brought in. Coach C, Coach LaCroix, uh, those guys did um, a really good job of, of, of of bringing in some high-level talent for us. So uh, we're excited about our newcomers. Coach, you think Sharp has a pretty good chance of, of being the two-way player for you, and uh, you think we'll see more of that from Weatherly as well? Uh, it's a good question. Uh, we're going to give Sharp every opportunity uh, to be a two-way player. Uh, we're also giving Justin Robleski, another true freshman, uh, who's a really good athlete, a left-handed hitter, outfielder. Um, we're giving him a chance uh, to do both as well. Uh, Weatherly, we're just going to have him focus on pitching. And that was a decision um, that, that he made uh, over the course of this summer. Just felt like trying to do both was probably taken away from both uh, and wanted to focus on pitching. He feels like his future uh, is going to be more on the mound. And we had that discussion before the school year started that he just wanted to come back as a pitcher and focus strictly on pitching. And you know, so far, he's looked really good doing that. Helps to have somebody like Logan to build an offense around who's a, a potential player of the year candidate nationally. 
Well, you got a guy in, in Logan Davidson that's uh, going into his third year in the programs, played every day at shortstop. We all know how important the shortstop position is on the field in terms of leadership. Uh, he's a plus defender, and he's and he's an, uh, he's above average hitter, and he's a really good athlete, and uh, he's a tremendous leader. So. Uh, anytime you can return a guy in a key position like shortstop uh, in Logan Davidson, you feel really good about it. And you know, there's a number of other guys. You got Kyle Wilkie, uh, who's in his third year in the program, was an all ACC guy last year. You got Jordan Greenback, who's played an awful lot of baseball here and looks really good right now. You got Grayson Bird, and Birdie's healthy right now. Uh, another guy that's had two full years of playing every day in our program. You know, so we got four guys back that played every day for us. Uh, for uh, you know, last year from last year's team, and a couple of those guys played multiple years for us. So we got a good nucleus. It's just a matter again of the guys like the Sam Halls and the Bryce Teodosios and the Kier Meredith. You know, you look at those three guys that played some as freshmen, had some injuries. Two of the three had some injuries. You know, but can those guys make that next step? And if they can, you know, then we have a chance to be a, a pretty good ball club. Grayson, get a shot at third. Yeah, we're going to play Birdie over at third base. Uh, I've got him playing some at first as well. Uh, and, and really, you know, one thing we try to do in the fall is move guys around uh, simply because we don't want guys to focus just on one position. If we have a kid that can come in and help us and, and he's more acclimated to playing in a spot that we got another player that's going to play every day, we, if we have that flexibility of moving a guy in a couple different spots, we could put our best nine on the field. And it uh, just makes life a little easier for us. So we move guys around in the fall a good bit. But Birdie's going to obviously do a majority of his work at third base. But we could see him play some first, maybe even stick him at second some if needed. Um, but he'll primarily work out at third base. Do you yeah. feel real good about your outfield defensively with what's going yeah, I think so. I mean, again, you got T.O. back. You know, T.O., I don't, I don't know if there's a better center fielder out there than Bryce Teodosio, and he had an unbelievable summer. Played in Waynesboro this summer, had a big summer. He's bigger and he's faster and he's stronger uh, than he was last year. I mean, he looks really good right now running around. Kier, we're, we're going to be cautious with Kier. You know, Kier's been banged up a good bit in his time here, so we just want to try to do everything we can to keep, to keep Kier healthy. Uh, so we'll be a little careful with him in the fall. Probably won't have him run full speed until he's ready, but he will play. Uh, and then you got Sam Hall, you know, kind of the jack of all trades, you know, the super utility guy who can play pretty much, uh, you know, everywhere and anywhere needed. So Sam's going to move around. And, and then we got guys like Matt Cooper. Uh, Cooper went out and played this summer, can play some corner outfield, maybe some first base too. We got a newcomer in Michael Green who has looked really good. Uh, transfer from Florence Darlington, um, who uh, is very athletic, left-handed hitter, above average runner. You could see him um, get some work in center field and some inner squads as well. Uh, Chad Ferry's another freshman that I'm really high on. Corner infielder, corner outfielder that can swing the bat. Uh, got a chance to be a big time bat. So we feel like we've got a good nucleus of guys coming back in the outfield. And we got some newcomers that are going to compete uh, for some jobs as well. Do like the new rules change out. with the uh, being able to play a couple of scrimmages? And yeah, we're really get somebody else. We're really excited about um, you know the opportunity to play a couple scrimmages uh, this fall. Uh, we're going to play, uh, I believe it's October the 14th um, against uh, Georgia Southern. We're going to play Georgia Southern down in Augusta at the Pro Park. Uh, so we're excited about that opportunity. And then we're going to play late in the fall. I believe it's October 27th or 28th, whatever that Sunday is. We're going to play Coastal Carolina here. So, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be fun for the guys to be able to play against somebody else. I think sometimes for the players, you know, the monotony of inner squadron and the only people we get to play is each other throughout the whole 45-day window of fall practice. Uh, you know, it, it, it can get a little boring to them. It's not very. It's not boring to me. I like to watch our guys play and compete. I don't care who it is, if it's an inner squad or we're playing somebody else. But I think the excitement of being able to play somebody else is going to be good. We're going to get to see some guys really uh, compete uh, in that environment before we get to the spring. So I think it'll tell us a little bit more about some of our guys. Coach Wilkie had such a breakout season last year, led your team in average. How important was it to get him back, not only offensively but behind the plate? 
Well, we all know that Kyle's an above average defender behind the plate and every pitcher on this staff is going to be very comfortable with Kyle behind the plate. Uh, you know, what Kyle did offensively is, is pretty remarkable. Uh, the progression that he made from his first year to his second year. Uh, you know, he was our best hitter with runners in scoring position. So, you know, anytime you get a guy back, regardless of, the, of his position, that hits like that with runners in scoring position, if we can put some guys on, get some guys on base in front of him, he's going to have a chance to have a big year. So uh, we feel very good about having Kyle back. And, and we got another catcher named Adam Hackenberg in here too, who folks I'm here to tell you is, is one of the most talented catchers um, I, I've ever had. I mean, he's big, he's strong, um, he's athletic, he's got power, he can catch, he can really throw. He's gonna be a big time player for us. It's just a matter of, of trying to fit both of those guys in behind the plate and keep, uh, keep their bats in the lineup. Uh, so it's gonna create uh, a good problem for me, uh, but um, Hackenberg's very, very good um, and is going to continue to push Kyle, which is a good thing. But we feel very good about Kyle, feel really good about Adam behind the plate, feel like we got two guys that are going to be very good for us. Money, it's obvious that fall ball is time for you to evaluate players you already have and, and see how 